This is where Evelyn Shaw and her family keep their cougar. The Shaws try to coax him out, but Niles simply peeks his head out. Evelyn Shaw is frustrated because she doesn't know what she needs to do to comply with the exotic animal law. I feel that the government should have been having meetings. They should have been keeping us advised on what we needed to do, you know, communicating with us. A microchip is required for registration of the animals. Shaw says she's called the state's Department of Agriculture to find out what type is required. We're still questioning, can they give us makes and models of those microchips so that we're able to obtain the proper chip? Tony Forshi is the state veterinarian at the Ag Department. He says local veterinarians can advise owners on microchips. Do you think the exotic animal owners are well informed about what they need to do tomorrow? Well, I think they, I think they are from the regist registration standpoint, which is all they really need to know now. Shaw says she tried to obtain the registration form last week. It wasn't made available until today, one day before the law goes into effect. For she points out owners have until November 5th to register their animals. They essentially have, uh, you know, a month and a half or two months to get that done. So there's plenty of time and plenty of time to take care of Shaw's other concerns, fencing and insurance. Temporary caging standards are expected to be in place by the end of the year. Insurance isn't required until 2014. Michael Locklear, WOUB News.